Hi, today is August 1st, 2024, and here are my poems for the day. The first one is poem number 1186 for the year, Things About Me and Other Things. A thing about me is that I post new poems on social media every day. Weekdays, five. Saturdays and Sundays, seven each. So, 39 poems every four weeks. Another thing about me is that I choose an image, usually from among the photographs in my phone, but not always. And each day, one of the poems, almost always the first poem, is at least tangentially related to the image. Another thing about me is that at the end of each month, I collect up the poems I have written, usually about 170, and I put them out in books, paperback and Kindle. This particular poem is the first poem of August. So far, it seems like a good introduction to what will be the first poem in the book I'm currently working on, a book that will come out sometime shortly after I post the poems for August 30th, 30 days from now. If you happen to be reading this poem in the book instead of online, then you won't know what the image for this poem is unless I tell you. So I will tell you. I have taken the cover of last month's book and used it as an image for today's poems. I did this in part because I stayed inside all day yesterday and didn't take any pictures, and partly because I thought it might be fun. It turned out not to be all that fun, but at least today's first poem is done. Poem number 1187. Good morning, August. Good morning, August, and happy birthday. Happy new month. Woo, woo. I don't know if you have access to time that exists before you existed. That, but last night, but blah, 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 starting again, poem number 1187. Good morning, August. Good morning, August, and happy birthday. Happy new month. Woo, woo. I don't know if you have access to time that existed before you existed, but last month was really something. It began with glumness and solemnity, and now people are dancing and fucking in the streets. That's how awesome July was. All right, I didn't actually see anybody fuck in the streets. I certainly didn't, but July was most definitely a fuck in the streets kind of month. I don't know what kind of month you will be, but even if you also happen to be a fuck in the streets kind of month, I doubt you will be as happy a fuck in the streets kind of month as July was. July set the bar really high, and if you even come close to it, you will be an awesome month. And if you do come close to it, I bet there will be some fucking in the streets. No pressure, though. You don't have to be as flashy and wonderful as July was. Just You just be you, August, and we'll just see how it goes. Flub that up at the end, but you know what? We're already at three minutes. I gotta keep going. Poem number 1188, Observations. Long poems can be painfully uninteresting unless you're patient curious and kind. Long cocks can be painfully interesting unless you are a lesbian or just tired of cocks. The long cock of justice bends toward... Uh, I don't know what it bends toward. I just don't want to get caught by the long cock of the law. If I can stay away from that cock, I think I will be all right. Poem number 1189, The Path. They were lost and could not see the path. They wandered and stumbled and bumbled, and a path emerged, and they walked along it. A bunny popped out from behind a tree. I am doubt, the bunny said. Are you sure you're going the right way? Go fuck yourself, bunny, they said. I know where I'm going. A hedgehog hobbled from a, from, out from a cluster of shrubbery. I am fear, the hedgehog said. There are great dangers ahead. Shove up your ass, hedgehog, they replied. I am not afraid. A sloth descended from a tree. I am sloth, said the sloth. Don't you want to take a nap? Eat a bag of dicks, sloth, they said. I am not stopping for anything. They continued on, dismissing an owl named Obsession and a cat named Compulsion and an unidentified, uh, an unidentifiable animal named Nebulousness. It took a while, but they got there, and when they got there, they were no longer lost. And although being found felt less interesting than being lost, they were mostly happy that they weren't lost anymore. They were mostly happy that they had taken the path. And last poem of the day, poem number 1190, Length. The poems are long today, although length is something of a subjective standard. When Lincoln was asked how long a poem should be, he gave the same answer that he gave when he was asked how long a man's cock should be. He said, long enough to reach the ground. But the poems have not reached the ground today. 
Probably tomorrow the poems will be shorter. Maybe tomorrow the poems will reach the ground. Maybe tomorrow one of the poems will be called Reaching the Ground. The poems have gone on at great length, but it looks like they are finally done for the day. Here is hoping that August is not as verbose as today's poems suggest. I start to get tired of my own voice by the fourth minute. So I am tired now. So I will let me go. Happy New Month. See you tomorrow. All right, that's it. Thank you. Five and a half minutes. Whoa. Uh, I appreciate you. I don't appreciate me today because, you know, verbosity, but I appreciate you.